Hi there everybody, this is Miss Nelson here and today we are doing lesson 8.2 in your 4th grade Florida Go Math books. Lesson 8.2 is called Multiples of Fractions. So we're going to be learning how to write multiples of fractions. We did this a little bit in yesterday's lesson and actually we did it a little bit in um, chapter 7 as well. So this is kind of going to be an easy lesson. It's sort of like a review. So we're just going to go ahead and get right into the problem. Unlock the problem says Jen is making four pans of baked CD. For each pan, she needs two thirds cup of cheese. That each tells me multiplication. Her measuring cup can scoop one third cups of cheese. So how many scoops of cheese will she need for the four pans? So we're going to see four and then the each means times two thirds and see how many thirds that ends up being in order to solve this. So our problem is four times two thirds. Okay, so slowing this down, I'm gonna slow this down and take it step by step and fill out the graphic organizer with you. By the way, if you're in my class, you should be filling out page 319. And then I'm gonna teach you an easy way to solve these problems. Okay, so four times two thirds. Here we're going to fill in two thirds is one third plus one third. So we're going to do two times one third. That's another way to write that. We learned that in yesterday's lesson. There's two of these, so two times one third. That's how we know two thirds. Two times one third. Okay, but she just she doesn't have just one pan. She has four pans. So four times two thirds, and they gave you a picture. Here's pan number one, pan number two, pan number three, pan number four, one third and one third. One third and one third, one third and one third, one third and one third. So you can see from this model right here how many thirds you're going to need. It's just the orange colored in parts. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So you can see you're going to need eight thirds or you're going to need to use that third scoop eight times. But let's go ahead and fill this out. Four times two thirds equals... 2 times 1 third, that we got from here, which equals 8 times 1 third, that we got from the model, which means 8 thirds. So Jen needs 8 third side scoops of cheese for 4 pans of ziti. Okay, now this is kind of a long way, the way that I just showed you. They broke it up and they used models and they went kind of slow. Let me teach you the quick way. Four times two thirds. When you're multiplying fractions, all you need to do is this big number times the numerator. Four times two is eight and the denominator stays the same, thirds. It'll be like that for any problem that you're multiplying. So if you have... Mm, let's just see, 8 times 2 fifths, it would be 16 fifths. That's kind of messy writing right there, sorry. 16 fifths. If you had 3 times 3 fourths, that would equal 3 times 3 is 9, and the denominator stays the same, fourths. So that's the easy way to do it. This way that we did here in the graphic organizer is just kind of a long, longer way, breaking it down, taking it step by step, just so you can see it using a model. So that's how to actually do the first part of this lesson. And then there's a second part of this lesson that you're going to see when you're in class or when you're doing your homework. And it's going to ask you something like list the next, I don't know, four multiples of the fraction. So say they give us the fraction 3 6. When you're listing the next four multiples, the denominator is always going to stay the same. So for listing the next four, the denominator will still be 6 for all those four. 
and then you're just going to take this number and you're going to write the next multiples of it. So you're going to count by that numerator. So 3, 6, 9, 12, 15. Pretty easy. That's all you have to do for writing the multiples of fractions. So let me do one more example. Let's say we had two tenths and it's asking you for the next four multiples of that fraction. The denominator stays the same. And then you're just going to write out the multiples of the numerator. So after two, four, six, eight, ten. So two things we learned in this lesson writing out the multiples of fractions, and then also how to multiply fractions. So say they said six times four twelfths. You would do the six times the four, which is 24, and then the denominator stays the same. So two things for lesson 8.2. Um, if you're in my class, you should have filled out page 320 while you are sorry 319 while you are listening to this lesson and the password is going to be glue please write that down and I will check it in your planners if you have any questions please leave me a message thanks